All right, got some more tournament replays, this time from Arcanine and David, um, both in Central. If you're not in Central, join up. I mean, we do tournaments, like, getting back to the groove of, like, doing it where at least a weekly tournament, to be honest. We we did VGC before this, and then this one's obviously OU. And as usual, if you've seen, like, the previous replay videos, I just – um. I just kind of like review them like I watch them for the first time as I'm recording and just do like a turn by turn analysis and then like an overall just like review of everything. But um, pretty much, I mean, let's go ahead and get started. But um, I mean, both of them are bringing like Feramosa, which is like great right now um so Argonaut's got Mosa Blissey uh Swampert Motris Coco and Lucha and then David's got Mosa Latios Heatran Celestilla Mantine and Chomp so I mean obviously the Blissey's most likely going to be um Teleport Teleport, um, Swampers probably carrying rocks. T Foggers obviously going to be um, Tr Motris. Um, these two, I mean, probably standard Life Orb, Coco, or maybe um, Heavy Duty Boots, and then Electric Seed, um, Halucha. Pheromos is kind of like up in the air, but um, I feel like it's probably going to either be just judging from the team. It can pro it's most likely going to be Banded, and then for David, he's got. Uh, Roxas probably gonna be Heatran, and then Defogger Mantine. This is probably gonna be like maybe an SD Chomp or something. SD maybe like what is it, the Scattering Scales or whatever Chomp, and then Mosa's probably gonna be Scarf, and then maybe Life Orb or Specs on the Latios, and then just pretty standard Celestilla. Um, leads. I mean, y'all know by now I like to lead with um pivots. So probably he'll lead with Lucha because if he leads Lucha, only thing really come out is Tran because Chomp doesn't really want to take a a uh, Dazzling Gleam. And then for him, probably going to lead with maybe Mosa in case he just like wants a quick U, quick U turn. But yeah, slow he's a golf. Okay, so you let Latios. Um, yeah, he switches in a Celestilla, which I wouldn't really. I mean, yeah, it can tank up the um, the Dazzling Gleam, but it wouldn't have wanted to take the um, Thunder. But judging from the Switch, it's most likely he had a Specs, um, specs on the Coco. So Blissey comes out, Blissey gets seeded. Um, yeah, I mean, Teleport's the easy pivot, just in case he would have like gotten a Switch out. And he's going to click probably Thunderbolt, honestly. But I don't know if, like... Okay, so he, I think Arcanine kind of predicted him to expect it to be Choice Specs and was going to go into Chomp, but he he played wisely and went Heatran, which was the safest play. Heatran gets the Toxic off on Swampert, which is good. Um, Obviously, Heatran's got to come out. Okay, he went for Rocks, okay. Well, I mean, it's a it's kind of risky play because he expected... Arcanine to think that he'd get scared out. And then Mantine is easy switch in. And then yeah, and then double it on the Coco. Yeah. He, it were would have been better for him at that point just to go into Heatran, but even still, Heatran doesn't want to take that damage. But now he recognizes that it's specs. And he's probably gonna SD here. Or maybe uh, the scales. Yeah, Stone Edge wasn't really the move here. I personally think that. Um, Earthquake would have been the better mid-ground play. Unless maybe he is, in fact, himself um, Scarf Chomp. Switches in Latios to kind of soak up the blow. Um, Mosa comes in, gets a U-turn off on Latios. Um, I think that Celestilla would have been a much better switch in. Just to try to alleviate the damage somehow instead of risking losing Latios. Because Celestil is probably like the most, like, 
Oh, okay. So David brought the uh, Quiver Dance Mosa. That's an amazing set. But um, at that range, I don't know if a Focus Blast will actually kill if it hits. Okay, it did kill. And then Mosa, I mean, uh, Coco comes in. Yeah, Ice Beam just kills. I think. Nah, because Lucha comes in. Yeah. Lucha comes in, activates the Electric Seed. And most is pretty much done at this point. Um, bring in Chop. Well, Celestilla still works as well. But Celestilla can't really put much offensive pressure on it compared to what Chop could do. So I think Chop would have been the much better switch in there. Because Chomp can still like get some damage from taking hits via um yeah via rough skin and stuff. Because the thing is now like he'd have to get two protects in a row. Yeah, that's what he's going for. As opposed to, yeah, and then that crit didn't really help at all. Because he's not going to lose that, um, that leech seed damage. That's why I said Chomp would have been better to start off with. Yeah, because that's the only play that I, so far, I'm really, well, I questioned a couple of them, but that's the play that really kind of did him in. Because Chomp would, like I said, Chomp would just put so much pressure on his team. Okay, Lava Plume, um... I don't know why he switched out his um Halucha. Not too sure at all. Because I mean the game was pretty much won there. So I'm I mean it's over. Um Definitely the play with the Chomp could have possibly turned things around a little bit, but um either way, good game. And here's game two. Um, Arcanine brought the same team. David brought a different team, which is allowed an attorney. Um, so he's got Spectier, Tox, Heatran, Zapdos, Zygarde, because this was before the ban, and then Terrakion, which I haven't seen in forever. Um, Spectier is probably, I mean, Specs most likely, and he doesn't really have anything but Blissey. Um, Rock Setter, obviously, Tran, most likely. Then Toxapex just does what it does. Zapdos, standard bulky defog. And then Zygarde, for this team, since he doesn't really have speed control, really, I can see it being um the coil set. And then Terrakion, probably Bandit, or it might be Scarf itself. And then he's got the same team from the last one. Um, I can definitely see the lead being possibly Zapdos for him, just because Zapdos kind of can take most of the hits and then probably for him maybe his own coco just to set up electric terrain or maybe Fermosa. and then let me hit slow and music off and let me know if you guys want this in like dark instead of like being white because i don't know the reason why i haven't done dark is because i don't know how it's going to look um okay yeah i personally wouldn't have risked that turn one but i mean it, it paid off but it's not really a guarantee because some people will kill what's in front of them instead of expecting you to predict. And then Pex comes in. Um, honestly, perfect time to click Toxic because something has to come in. Okay, so I wonder. I, I didn't catch it, but that most of might have been um. Yeah, it might have been. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I wouldn't have left Heatran in early because Heatran is his only true switch in for Coco. But I think he's recognizing that it is um it's specs. So I mean he can just kind of get off a um thousand arrows here. Even though like Swampert is the okay, a glare. Okay. And I think that um if he's Glare Coil, I don't think that Swampert can really break it. 
And it also comes down to just general hacks, really. Oh, no, Roar. Okay, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> and then Spectre comes out. It's going to start clicking. Well, no, not really, because the Blissey comes out, so maybe he doubles here. Now nah, he exits it. Um, oh, wait. So Taunt. And then Blissey can't touch it. So, I mean, honestly, if this was late game and it was just Blissey, it beats Blissey 1, 1v1. But yeah, Heatron's pretty much at this point, like, kind of done. Just because, like, he let it get whittled down too early via that um flip turn. Okay. So I'm guessing Arcanine's not running uh, Scorching Sands on the Moltres, which I think would be more beneficial than Air Slash. Because, I mean, that's the best coverage it's going to have, really. And he gets that off on Swampert. Um, his only real switch in for... Okay, so yeah, so <laughs> the pair of hacks are kind of helping out a bit. Um, if he lands another Magma Storm, okay, now he just has to hope he's not... Okay, yeah, now Heatran's gone... Um, he can probably go into, yeah, Mosa, because Mosa just pressures everything. And then Terrakion comes out, and we know this isn't Banded or Scarf, so Terrakion can safely stay in. Okay, so he did that because, I mean, the Motris seems like the obvious switch in. So doing that was probably the best, like, best play for him. And then, yeah, and Terrakion, I don't know why John did that, because... Well, I guess the sack, because Terrakion was kind of obviously scarfed. And he, well, yeah, he really didn't have a safe switch in. But, I mean, well, Lucha would have been the safe switch in, because it would have done what it just did just now and scared out Terrakion. But, yeah, Zapdos is like the switch in for Lucha. Um, I don't really know... Because nothing on his team can break Toxapex because his Moltres isn't carrying um, Scorch and Sands. And then, yeah, Terrakion just kind of eats at this point. Um, Definitely bringing the same team hurt him a bit because it, it was kind of easy for him to play against. Yeah, putting a Toxic on Terrakion, I mean, it's it's pretty much over at this point. Yeah, he brings in Toxapex. Um, it's pretty much over. I'm not going to go to the end because I feel like this might take a while. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. But um, it's pretty clear that David won. And the reason I say that is because, like I said, his Motris doesn't have Scorching Sands, most likely. Because, it, I mean, it's got Flamethrower, Air Slash. And the other two moves need to be Defog and um, Roost. And so neither one of them can break Toxapex. And so I'm gonna move on to the third battle. So David got that win. Um, definitely, I mean, they both played pretty solid, to be honest. I think, like before, Arcanine's mistake was bringing the exact same team. And then here's three. And like I said, this is gonna be a long one because it's um it's a best of three. And yeah, Arcanine changed teams now. Okay, so and David brought the same one. All right, so Arcanine brought Chomp. Toxapex, um, Buzzwall, who's actually, I mean, is a beast, especially in the Zygarde meta, like post ban. I mean, pre ban. Post ban, it's probably still good. I haven't really played with it yet, but I want to. And you got Blissey, Zapdos, and Spectre. Um, Rock Setter, most likely Blissey. Um, Chomp is probably SD or Scales, Tox, I mean, Haze, and then typical Tox stuff. Um, Buzz will probably bulk up and then Zapdos defog. Um, Spectre probably specs and then for leads, probably dose for Arcanine and then probably for him, his own dose. Just kind of like that's just how I play. I lead with something to pivot, yeah, slow and music off. All right.
Okay, so Spectre led, and then he brought out Zapdos. So, I mean, 50%, I mean, that's that's pretty good odds. Okay, so he put up a sub, and that's actually pretty good because Blissey cannot touch it. So now he can safely, and he blocks the teleport. Oh! Okay. <laughs> okay, Arcanine, I see you. <laughs> But I mean, that's kind of that's a good change, though. I mean, it's it's David's fault for bringing the same team, but I mean, Shadow Ball Blissey is actually good because I mean, Spectre is so out there, and I think David's kind of caught like caught off guard a bit right now. That's why he's just clicking sub. Um, like Heatron would have been the the best switch in. Yeah, because thirteen percent is the crit. I mean, he can just get off rocks or click toxic. Please, hopefully, he went rocks here. Yeah, because Pex comes in, and I mean, he is going to come out unless he's. If I don't think I saw it yet, but if he was like the Magma Storm, um, was it Magma Storm? Magma Storm Earth Power set that beats Tox Pex one v one. I think it's carrying boots. Um, at the. I personally would have switched out to Heatron now just to get rid of Hazards. Or, well, I mean, since they're both playing Hazard stack, he can do that to kind of force his uh, Zapdos out. Well, not really because Pex can get rid of the uh, the Toxic Spikes. But, um, yeah. Zapdos honestly doesn't really need to defog. Like defog in here is just kind of just doing it to do it. Yeah, I knew he wasn't going to because I mean he's got two heavy du duty boots users and his team's not really weak to rocks. So just leaving David's team with uh, spikes on the side is I mean beneficial for him because he can just keep coming back and just force the yeah like he did just now because now. David is kind of forced to um, defog here and clear both sides. So that's a good play on Arcanine's part. And then Chomp comes in. I mean, the... Oh, no. Okay, so David didn't... Um, okay. And then Chomp's going to probably just Stone Edge. Oh, no, it's SD. Okay. And without HP Ice, I mean, Zapdos kind of can't really do anything to Chomp. And even if he had Heat Wave, I mean, like I said, he's poisoned, so that's actually good on his part. Pex can't do anything. Yeah, and I think it, it might be over here. No, well, I mean, he can click close combat, yeah. And then, I mean, that Shadow Ball Blissey tech is, like, great, though. Is that, like, that really caught everybody off guard, myself included. Probably whoever's watching this, too. <laughs> um, <clears throat> like I said, I don't think he's... Okay, so he is rocking that set. I don't know why he didn't just break it earlier. Yeah, he, I mean... He could have got rid of Pex earlier and so much like less hassle. So I'm a little confused by that play, but I mean he can just kind of keep clicking Magma Storm here. Yeah, I personally would have went um Magma Storm there instead of Rocks. Yeah, he didn't want to take that burn, so yeah, leaving Heatron in would have been the best bet. Because now this thing just kind of clicks, um, 
Okay, since it didn't get recovery damage, I mean recovery, it's definitely um it's definitely specs. Yeah, I think it's it's being kind of a little too late to kind of click Magma Storm now because he kind of missed the chance early in the game to get rid of Pex. And then Zygarde comes in, takes a seismic toss. Um I don't think it can set up on Blissey. Maybe he can, but I mean, he's got Buzzle, which is like a great, a great switch in for um, Zygarde because it carries Ice Punch, and then it's just it's bulky, bulky as hell. It's like even with the burn, it's still, it's not really going to do too well against. Um, I mean, even with the Para, it's still not going to really be able to beat Buzzle one v one. So I'm not really sure why he's still clicking that because he has Dose in the back. Well, even still, I mean, Dose doesn't want to take an Ice Punch, but, I mean, it's better than wearing down a Zygarde like this. Because Zygarde with, if he can give her a buzz all, Zygarde can kind of win the game for him a bit. I mean, it's a walking win con. Yeah. I'm mean, definitely losing Pex earlier kind of hurt, but, I mean, eh, I don't really understand the Heatron play. Well, I mean, I guess now because he can click up Magma Storm, but he's only got... Well, he's got six left. Okay. So now is the time to get rid of Pex. So he's got Heatron. I mean, he's got Tox stuck. Now click Taunt and then Earth Power. Earth Power twice. And then. What? Why did it not get stuck? I thought it was like guaranteed to not be able to switch out. That's weird. I mean, he shouldn't try setting up here just because Buzzwall's in the back. I mean, getting rid of Dose is good. Hurricane, I thought it would have killed, but he's confused. So, um, yeah, going to Heatron. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, Blissey comes out. Um. I think it's just kind of at this point, just it's just positioning right now. They're both kind of waiting on a stake from the other person to kind of get in good position. I mean, David needs a better position now compared to Arcanine because Arcanine kind of has has the advantage a bit, where he's kind of pressuring David more. I mean, yeah, because, I mean, he's just going to wear himself out, really. Because, I mean, getting a pair on Blissey, and then Blissey just gets a Prox. Um, honestly? Yeah, because, I mean, if it weren't for him carrying Shadow Wall, I mean, Spectre would be a great switch in. And then he brings out a spec here. Yeah, so I mean he can't click um clicking EQ here might be the mid safe mid ground play. Well he goes back in the heat room. Um hmm. I'm not too sure about that play. And then now, yeah, because now like I said Arcanine's got the advantage because he can control minimum on his side. Because like I said before, he doesn't really need a defog and David's the one that needs to because he has the most pressure on on himself. Yeah, the misses are hurting a little bit, but I mean, like I said, Toxapex should have been gone a long time ago. And then, I mean, Zapdos is just going to get worn down. He has to click Defog, and then, I mean, he, he's he got no reason to switch out. He just clicks Scald or Toxic Spikes again because now he's kind of got the dose in a loop of, like, do you Roost or do you Roost and still take Burn damage or do you Defog? So it's just kind of, like I said, Arcanine's got the upper hand. and still has pressure on him. And then Dose, I mean, Blissey comes out. I mean, he can't do anything to Blissey. 
with really Yeah, he kind of he would have expected him to go um what's it called? Um Terrakion. That's why he went Spectre. But Spectre just kind of clicks um Shadow Wall or Hex. Yeah, it it it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, Arcanine's just going to keep wearing him down. And then that Stone Age does nothing to Buzzwell. And Buzzwell now at this point just clicks a button. Well, I mean, if he can move. <laughs> Blissey comes out. Um, Getting the burn off is, I mean, a plus. But like I said before, since he's carrying Shadow Ball, he can't really just wear it out. Zagar comes out. Um, it really can't do anything. All right. Um, okay, yeah, Rock Slide to get rid of Zapdos. But I mean, like I said, it's the issue now is just breaking, breaking those minds apart because. He's really going to have a hard time doing that. Like I said, losing Zygarde with all those and whittling it down himself with the subs earlier really kind of lessened his like chances to win. And Blissey comes out. Um, like I said, he, he can pretty much just keep shuffling in and out and just kind of get good position. So, I mean, Buzzwell at this point can just click um whatever he wants. Yeah. And I don't think David's. I don't know. I haven't seen that fourth move. I, I don't think it's Heat Wave because I feel like he would have used it by now. Probably Vote Switch. Well, I don't know. He would have used Vote Switch earlier. Um. Yeah, it's. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop it here, just because I mean it's. It's pretty much over, and it's probably like another 30 turns. We're already on 71, but um, just to give you how this easily plays out in Arcanine's favor, Zapdos can't can't beat Blissey. Blissey would just wear out Zapdos here. Heatran cannot beat Blissey. Um, Heatran also cannot beat um, Pex at this point. And Buzzwell prevents Terrakion from sweeping. As well as Heatron, and then Spectre can't just spam Shadow Balls because Blissey also breaks it because he casts Shadow Ball himself. So, um, yeah, I'm just calling it here. I think the results was, I mean, Ark and I did win, um, but yeah, I didn't want to go for 30 more turns. But um, overall, like I said, good, good match, good best of three. Um, for like the vid, I mean like i mean comment your own thoughts or whatever and then just look forward to more because i think I, there's like two matches i'm in and then like a few more i still have to post up but um either way ggs to both